ready to run, Roadrunners. Hi, guys. So I made a pacer test video, and there was no sound. So I'm trying it again. All right. So pacer test is an uh, aerobic test or a cardio test for yourself. Let's do some stretching, and then we'll jump right into trying the test. OK. Uh, dangle and hang. Reach down for your toes. Inhale deep through your toes and up and up. Do it again. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Let's slowly, slowly, slowly roll all the way up to standing. Let me see that. So I found that recording outside makes for sound issues. So um, hopefully that I'll be more successful today. Today I was actually helping with all of the student item pickup things that are going on. Did you switch legs? We're on the other end now. And runner's lunge stretch. Try to push your, your back heel down to the ground. And let's put both palms down on the ground. Tuck our back knees down. And then come up for a sec. And then let's pivot and switch on our side. Just runner's lunge first. Back knee down. Come up. All right, let's bring both feet in. Heel down, toe to the sky for a stretch on your calves. So the pacer test, we usually do it twice a year, about by foot. Hey, if kids had the recording and they knew the distance, then they could test themselves more frequently and they might actually find it's a fun way to get fitness. Maybe you could start your own fitness journal or you have a journal and in your journal, when you write in it, you could just say like your pacer score or any fitness goals you're really using. All right, I think we already did these stretches. Sorry, this is my second time starting the video, so sometimes I forget what we've already done. Okay, so this is 60 from this line here. So when we do it in class, this is where we do it. Black line, red line down at the other side or by that yellow cone. Can you see the yellow cone like right there? And let's listen to the PACER instructions. So I sent this link to you so you could hear it yourself. Okay. Okay, so it gets faster and it'll also tell you levels. I'm going to try to just go until the second level comes today, just for time's sake, so you kind of get the idea. So we've stretched, we're ready. Again, no leading early. You could leading the line early if you get there early. So we don't want to go fast at the beginning. Pacing, not racing, is what I tell kids. So we're trying to last a long time. And if we go our fastest, we're going to get tired. So I'm going to leave this. I'm going to actually take it with me because I don't know that it'll be loud enough for me to hear the dings. But ready? Or actually, maybe I'll leave it here. Okay. I can hear it from here too. Awesome. So 22, I believe, is a quarter mile. There we go. Right on pace. Not crazy on pace. So if you get there early, for the line again, don't leave early. So again, measure 65 feet. Yeah, trying to bring the right on the beach. <laughs> oh, there was a level change. So that means it's going to go just a little bit.
Oh, the recording goes to 138 laps. Now remember, if I miss, as long as I'm right on time, if I have a miss, I still finish it. If I miss twice, then I'm supposed to stop. Have a miss. It is really weird running here without students. <laughs> Okay, 22, I believe, is like a quarter of a mile. As you can see, it could keep going. The recording itself is 15 minutes and four seconds long. And the guy talking, he takes about like 30 seconds to give directions. But then that means it's almost like 15 minutes of moving. It goes, oh, you hear the end. So then those beeps get closer together. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think I've had a student do 102 in class. Yeah. So take that recording. You might even be able to find other Pacer tests out online that have other music. The important thing is just to note the distance that they expect you to traverse between. That means go between. So yeah, work on that cardio. And I'm going to have to test myself to see if I can go further than that, what I did today. Um, but I know that I didn't go all out. I just didn't want this to run too long and for you to just watch me run. But again, don't leave the line before you get there. If you get there early, but the goal is to be there on the beep. And then that transition when it's a new level, that means it's going to get just a little bit faster. And when we are ra racing, if you are... A student that likes to run to race, um, race to run, then this will be a great task for you to do or just say you want to be in shape and fit. Figure out the distance and get to work. Um, test yourself and send me the number that you got. I actually had a student, um, thanks Autumn, for already doing this and then telling me how many you did. All right, Roll Runners, until later. Keep sending me messages. I've let, I love hearing from you and I love the messages you send, whether it's a typed message or a picture or a short video. They're all really great to have. Just having you guys in here. That's weird. It's like supposed to be like lunchtime right now at school. I hope I get to see the rest of you with the spirit pickup or the student item pickup. And I'm glad that I already got to see some of you. All right, Roadrunners. Miss you. Love you. Mwah.